Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back today to a brand new video on the channel. So, as you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be going through my goals uh, that I want to achieve before the end of 2017. Now, there's a few reasons that I want to do this. The main reason being is purely just for accountability. By me doing this, telling everyone my goals, telling you my goals, I'm sort of making myself accountable to you for that. Now, will I achieve all of these goals? Maybe not. Maybe I will. Um, the chances are I'll probably achieve a lot of them. Maybe not all of them. I might achieve none of them. So it's, it's interesting. But by me telling you these, these lofty goals that I've got, um, I'm more likely to. In my mind, if I've told somebody that I'm going to do it, I feel obliged to do it. Does that make sense? Um, you know, it, it's almost like having an accountability partner, except however many view people view this video, that's how many accountability partners I've got. So um, if you haven't done this yourself, I highly recommend you do it. Uh, put a video out, tell the world what you're trying to achieve, and then uh, you're more likely to do it, at least in regards to sort of the world of law of attraction. That's essentially how it should work <laughs> and I'm hoping that's how it works today but um, again on here I've broken it down into a few different sections these aren't just financial goals um, let me scroll down here okay so I've broken this down into overall income goals my total income um, from my agency uh, health finance um, Shopify so how I want to do that personal branding self-development and then recreational slash life. So um, let's start, I'll explain each one as we go down through them, they're pretty much self-explanatory, but let's do this anyway. So number one is income. Now, my income goals, I'm far away from this, but this is something that I'm hoping I can achieve by the end of the year, and that's on track, uh, be on track. So um, before the end of the year, I want to be earning enough to essentially be to earn a hundred thousand pound next year so what that equates to is eight thousand three hundred and thirty three pound a month so when it comes to december 31st all my clients added together my average affiliate income my average income from personal brand all that type of stuff i want that to be averaging out about eight thousand three hundred and thirty three pound a month because that means i'll be on track to earn at least a hundred thousand pound next year now obviously things go up things go down but we're just going to go for an average and um you know that's my goal for that and that's total income that's from like i said my agency personal brand and affiliate marketing um e-commerce, e Shopify, absolutely any source of income that I can get, um, that's what my total income goal is. And then below that's so the only other income goal is have at least two new streams of income. Now, my current streams of income are my agency, I make a very minimal income from YouTube ad revenue, and that's pretty much the only money really, a little bit money from affiliate marketing, but I'm not even going to class that as a stream of income because it's so little. So right now i've got two forms and i want to get at least another two streams of income before the end of the year which is what we'll go on to as we move forward so the second sort of subheading here is my agency now this is within the hundred thousand pound a year but um what i want to have is essentially is a six-figure agency but in regards for a US dollar cent. So in dollar terms, I would be a six figure agency if I was earning 6,250 pounds per month. So that's 75,000 pound a year from my income. Um, if that comes from my agency, that equates to a six figure US dollar agency. So that's my goal. I want to be earning 6,250 pound. Like I said, um, with all my clients coming the end of the month, it should total to hopefully 6,250 pound. Then, I was thinking, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this, but the next one is rebrand my agency. Um, it could be a lot better, it could be a lot more professional, um, and I want to rebrand that, so that's a goal that hopefully I can achieve before the end of the year. Uh, another one is, have several VAs hired to do uh, the tedious jobs that I don't necessarily just want to do anymore. Um, it's not necessarily just a case of outsourcing it. But it's more so I don't want to do the jobs that I don't enjoy anymore either. Uh, just because it's, it's all about, you know, it doesn't matter how much money you earn. But if you're not happy, what's the point? Uh, so I want to hire out the VAs to do a lot of the work that I don't necessarily enjoy. Um, another one for my agency is to offer more services which I can outsource. Right now I'm just doing social media stuff. But, you know, if I can offer SEO, web design, all certain things like that. Um, and then obviously I can outsource that. I'm not good at any of these things. 
essentially as long as I'm good enough and understand to be able to sell it to someone, then I can outsource that work. But that comes a struggle of finding a good enough VA to do so. That's all things that we'll um, we'll face and we'll see come the end of the year what happens. Uh, another thing with my agency, with the $100,000 a year agency, that's fine and everything, but if I'm working seven days a week on that, that's just not scalable. So what I want to ensure that I'm doing is not working any more than two days a week on my agency. If I'm working less than two days a week and bringing in over $100,000 a year, that is awesome. So that's my goal not just to make that money, but to outsource the work, have people help me um, so I can scale. Right, so my next goal is a health goal, and that is I want to reach my goal weight of 12 stone 2. I'm not going to tell you what weight I am now, but I'm a little bit more, I'm quite a bit more than that. So my goal is to get to 12 stone 2. Um, and then another goal of mine is to book like a mud runner or something equivalent to that. So whether that be a half marathon, some one of the, like a obstacle course event, something cool like that get that booked up uh, so I'm accountable to have to do that next year so then I'm sort of I have to train to get there because I'm going to make a fool out of myself and it's, it gives you something to aim towards then every time you're in the gym or going for a run etc so I want to get that booked up <clears throat> the next one here is finance now this is only I've only got one thing on here but what I mean by finance is where I put my money once I've got that money what do I do with it I want to invest a thousand pound before the end of the year, and I know that's not a load of money, that's not like 10 grand, 50 grand that some people have. I want to invest that money, whether that be into stocks, bonds, um, shares, I don't, that's the thing I don't know, um, REITs, like all sorts of, I don't know enough about investing. I need to do my research, find out, and at the end of the day, it's all about, you know, learning, trial and error. Let's put a thousand pound into something, long term, to begin with, low risk, see what happens understand it a bit more so then when I get my next five grand to invest then we can know what to do with it so if any of you guys have any sort of ideas you live in the UK you know what's good to invest into maybe Facebook uh, I, I don't know if you have any ideas help me out send us a message and um, really appreciate it but yeah so I want to invest a thousand pound before the end of the year into into some sort of stocks or shares or something the next one is my Shopify goals now I've got my sh as, as of right now I've watched loads and loads and loads of videos about Shopify. I know what to do. I've got my store up and running, um, pretty much done. I've chosen my products. The website looks good. All I have to do now is to start making money, run some ads, do some testing, uh, and see what happens. Uh, this store might not work, in which case I'll start another one. But my goal is to actually have a profitable Shopify store before the end of the year. Now, I don't mind if it's making me one pound a month. If I'm making a profit on that, I can then scale that up. So my goal is to make a profit. Um, and what I also have here is a, uh, Hopefully to have a break even to profitable ads, so then obviously uh, I can make money on the back end, build up the audience, build up an email list and make money like that. So that's the goal for Shopify. Um, and I've also got here for Shopify, learn the inside out, make a profit, so then I can teach others how to do the same. So that's another one of my goals. If I can make a profit, I want to start making more and more videos about it too. Now the next one here is quite big and that's personal brand and this is something that is something huge that I really want to focus on going out to the end of the year. Now, my personal brand for me, not necessarily always the same for you, is split into two. Now, a lot of you may know me from my Just Riley channel, which is, I film my life, uh, I film Q and A's, vlogs, reaction videos, the normal YouTube type stuff, and then, or you might know me from this channel, which is uh, just my business stuff. Now, I'm splitting my personal brand into two sections. So obviously this channel, and then my other channel. So. Let's start off with my other channel, Just Riley. With that channel, uh, I want to get to 20,000 subscribers. Right now, I'm almost about to hit 16,000. So my goal would be to at least be at 20,000 before the end of the year. And I also would like to have two, uh, sorry, 300,000 total views on that channel. Right now, I've got 220,000. So if I can get another 80,000 views before the end of the year, that'd be awesome. And I'd also like to have 10,000 followers on Instagram. Right now I've got about 3,000, so I've got a lot of work to do on that. But that would be pretty awesome if I could. Then now on to personal branding for this business channel. I'd love to have <clears throat> 500 subscribers on this channel. Now that, that's going to be a lot harder than I think than uh, getting 20,000 on the other. Although there's a lot more in it for Just Royally. I've already started to build up an audience and the snowball effect sort of already in action. Whereas this, it's just starting out. So it might be a bit harder. Obviously 0 to 500 is a lot harder from, than 500 to 1,000. So, um, but yeah, my goal would be to get to 500. Uh, I'd also like to upload over 100 videos. Now there's only something like 80 days left in the year. 
so that means I may have to double upload on some days. Again, I might not hit this target. I'd like to upload daily. I don't know if I'll ever upload multiple, multiple videos in a day, but it's a good goal to have. Set your standards higher. As they say, shoot for the moon, land on the clouds. So that's, you know, aiming for 100 videos. And then uh, subscriber-wise, uh, not subscriber, sorry, Instagram follower-wise, I'd like to be on 3,000. I've literally just started up my page. I've got like 15 followers at the minute. So that would be another goal for my personal brand. And of course, this isn't written down, but everything looking professional, everything uh, good quality content coming out, valuable content on this channel, and then hopefully funny, entertaining, and well-edited content on the Just Riley channel. That's my goal. And then another one here, final thing for personal brand, is to start making some money from my personal brand. Um, and what I mean by this is affiliate marketing, informational products, which I can uh, provide value for you guys. And if I, you know, that's not my main goal here. My main goal is to provide as much value as possible. And then for the more high level stuff, maybe release uh, an information product like an ebook or something before the end of the year. And obviously if I recommend you guys to certain things, books, you know, make a little bit of money from affiliate marketing where necessary. Like I said, I'd never ever promote anything that I'm not not wouldn't use myself or don't use myself so um again that would just be if possible that would be pretty awesome again if not that's not a problem the next one here now is self-development coaching mentors courses books etc so the first one here is to have an inner circle of people with the same goals and mindset and also some mentors before the end of the year now what i mean by this is I want to surround myself more with some people who are just a little bit further ahead of me than some that are a bit up, uh, even more ahead of me. Uh, as Ty Lopez calls it, the law of 33%, and what he says is you need to uh, surround yourself with people who, 33% of people who are the same as you, 33% of people who are just a bit ahead of you, and then I think the following one is 33% of people who are way ahead of you, or is it behind you? I don't really know, but the, the fact of the matter is you need to surround yourself with people who are where you want to be um, and attainable. So that's my goal. Um, surround myself, and hopefully this YouTube channel helps with that. If you, any of you guys want to connect, you want to have a chat, you want to have, get on a call or anything, send me a message. And There's also a link to my website in the description. If you guys do want to book a coaching call, um, I can teach you about social media, personal branding, uh, YouTube, all things like that. And social media marketing as well, teach you if you're looking to start your agency. Um, I'm more than happy to help that. And if, to be honest with you, if any of you guys are in the similar mindset, and you just want to get on the phone and chat or send me a message or have any questions, let's connect guys. Again, I want to build a bit of a inner circle here of people who are on the same journey as me. So let's get that going. And then another one here is join someone's mastermind group. Now that's already attained. I, I wrote these goals down about two weeks ago. I've since joined a mastermind group. So that's a, that's a good one, but I want to ensure that I'm still in that by the end of the year. Um, another one is book to attend an event in 2018. For example, keynote in London, potentially Gary V. I know he comes to the UK, um, Tony Robbins, things like that. Obviously, I can't go ahead and afford something like Date with Destiny yet. I, can't, I don't have that type of money. But, you know, just a keynote, a couple hundred pounds, spend that on an event. Um, maybe a free, I don't really like the idea of free events. I like the idea of spending the money. Um, a lot of the time I've heard when you go to free events, they just try to sell you on courses all the time. You know, and I'm all for that. I'm all for marketing your courses. Fair play to the people who get up on stage and grind, and they provide the value. But I like the idea of spending money, and when you, you know, when you spend money for something, you're more likely to uh, learn from it. So, you know, hopefully have something booked up by the end of the year. And then the final thing on self development is to read or listen to a book a week. Uh, I think we've got something like 11 or 12 weeks left in the year. So that's if I can hit 10 books, that'll be decent. Whether that's an audio book from uh what's it called audible or whether that is just straight up a book in my hands uh, i've got some good books on my list i've got loads of books that i still need to read so that should be attainable and then the final one here is just recreational life nothing interesting really this isn't business related number one is to buy my first car which i've done now as well so two weeks ago i didn't have a car to now i do uh, another one is to pass my driving test i've got my driving test in three weeks so i'll keep you updated on that i may or may not pass if not if i don't pass then i'll rebook it before the end of the year hopefully and get that passed and then another one final one is to book a two-week holiday for next year and i'm hoping to go somewhere like mexico we don't we don't know where we're gonna go yet but yeah so that's pretty much all my goals guys like you see i've got financial goals on there i've got health goals i've got e-commerce goals personal brand goals agency goals recreational goals self-development goals a load of different things on here now like i said these are goals that I hope I achieve. 
Again, I'm putting this video out there just to motivate some of you guys and also to make myself accountable to you. Um, I'll, on beginning of January, 1st of January, 2nd or 3rd of January, somewhere around then, I'll release the updated version of this. And to my future self, I told you you could do it. <laughs> Fingers crossed guys, like I said, I'll be completely honest and open with you. If I don't achieve any goals, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and pretend that, you know, something happened. We'll, we'll, I'll be completely honest with you. I'll tell you why I didn't think I achieved it. And I probably won't achieve all of these goals, but by putting this out there, hopefully it will make me a step closer to achieving some of them. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you do want to book a call with me, link's in the description. Or if you just want to chat, send me a message on Instagram, follow my social medias. All the good stuff, everything's in the description, so go and check it out. Thank you so much for the support. As always, have a fantastic day. Chase your dreams, and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Take care.